Hi, I'm Danielle Nabak. Hi, I'm Michael Kenny. Hi, I'm Sophia Torrijos. Hi, I'm Delia Gast. Hi, I'm Kaya Schwarz. Hi, I'm Melissa Denomi. And we are your Milwaukee Food Council Board of Directors. 2020 has been a year. Thanks for continuing to engage in the Milwaukee Food Council community. As we transition to 2021, we're here to share our year in review and roadmap for what's ahead. We began 2020 just as we have many others, with formal elections, a new board president, and several new board members. We subsequently lost several board members, including our president and vice president, in the first few months of the year. This board turnover, the racial disparities in the impacts of COVID, and the cry for justice in response to police brutality and the continued oppression of Black, Brown, and Indigenous communities here in Milwaukee and across the country led us to think critically about and examine the purpose and the culture of our MFC community. With this in mind, the board and stakeholders engaged in a strategic planning process over the summer months, which resulted in a more explicit commitment to ground all of our work in racial equity. In the fall, the board of directors and advisory committee members participated in an equity and diversity workshop with August Ball which led us to examine the ways in which oppressive characteristics show up in various places within the Milwaukee Food Council. As a result, the board has decided on several actions to advance a more equitable and inclusive organization. First, we're taking a deep dive into our bylaws, policies, and practices over the next year. This will happen at the board level and our analysis will be shared with all of you, our stakeholders, in order to inform our collective vision for the future. In many ways, we've identified that our bylaws do not reflect our values as an organization. We feel it's important to act in a way that reflects our values, which is why we postponed our board elections. The annual election process that is outlined in our bylaws does not reflect our values of inclusivity and equity. And as such, we are choosing to pause that process. We are still seeking board members and anyone interested in learning more should reach out to a current board member. We're thinking critically about who and why we are. Thank you, Milwaukee, for helping us. We currently have six members on our board of directors. Our current bylaws allow Milwaukee Food Council members who pay membership dues to run for positions on the board once a year. Paid members of the Milwaukee Food Council are then permitted to vote for the candidates of their choice. As we mentioned earlier, the board has chosen to suspend the annual election because we are concerned that this current process doesn't support equity and inclusion. We will be examining our paid membership model too. While we are not engaging in our traditional board member election process, we are looking to grow our board in the next six months. Anyone interested in a leadership opportunity to advance an equitable Milwaukee food system should contact us to learn more about a board position. In addition to our working board of directors, the Milwaukee Food Council has partnered with UW-Madison Division of Extension and Wisconsin Department of Health Services to bring on a staff member to help us facilitate food systems collective action at a more local resident level. Lee Valentine has been in this role since July of 2020 and we're so excited to see the impact of his work. By engaging in our strategic planning process, you helped us understand that we can focus on three themes to advance a more equitable food system, healthy, equitable food access, food recovery and environment, and food economy. You agreed that while we're doing a good job at engaging food systems, professionals, and organizational partners, we need to devote time and resources at the neighborhood and resident level to support equitable advances. This has resulted in our investment in a hyper-local approach facilitating collective action at the neighborhood level. We anticipate opportunities for our stakeholders to advance efforts in these themes through working groups. We know that there are groups of Milwaukeeans already discussing these themes in various groups and spaces. And rather than reinvent our own wheel, we want to lift up those efforts and add to our collective capacity. 
As the Milwaukee Food Council, we will exist to collect, analyze, and share data and current efforts in each priority area, advance relevant policy efforts, and build relationships as the foundation for collective collaboration across the city. We expect our MFC community to actively work towards equity for all through relationships, practices, and policy, and challenge institutional and structural systems that perpetuate racial and social inequities. We are working hard to implement new tools and processes to support communications relevant to our Milwaukee food system. We formed a communications committee in mid-2020 composed of board members and stakeholders. We're excited to announce a brand new website making its debut in early 2021. It is our intention to use this website as well as our social media to better share the efforts happening across our region to advance a more equitable food system. We hope to share resources that are valuable, not only for our organizational partners, but also for community members. The Milwaukee Food Council's Policy Committee has remained strong over the last year. We continue to strengthen relationships with local decision makers at the City of Milwaukee through engagement with the Fresh Food Access Fund, advocacy for the addition of a food access focused staff member to the Milwaukee Health Department, and we've shared our 2021 budget, policy, and program recommendations by writing a letter and testifying to the Mayor and Common Council. We are also developing new areas of engagement. We've advocated for investments in our food systems as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, made recommendations on state and local CARES Act stimulus investments, and expanded our efforts to explore advocacy for food system worker protections, safety, and health. We've engaged in the state budget process and we've sent action alerts to our network that have resulted in communications with our U.S. Senators and Representatives. As a small working board, we are continuously looking for members of our community to join in any of our committees and efforts. Despite the challenges that we have come with 2020, we are still here. We are committed to advancing a healthier and more equitable food system here in Milwaukee. And we will do that with all of you. Thank you for your grace as we continue to ask hard questions of ourselves and of each other, as we continue to examine who we are, how we show up, and the spaces we create, we ask for your patience. We also ask for your openness. We know that 2021 will look different for our world, our city, and the Milwaukee Food Council. Change can be difficult, and the unknown is scary. Oftentimes, though, breaking through the status quo is what leads to beautiful things.